The following is a message brought to you by the Turbo Cerberus TV Mental Health Awareness Association. Thank you. Hi there. I'm here to say to everyone that you can get through it, that you can cope, find the right support system. It may take a while. A long while, but it is possible. Mickey Muppets is existing to bring awareness to mental health. And we're in a spot now where, despite the awareness and its growing awareness, the treatment has gotten jumbled. It's getting harder for people to find uh, doctors who will take them seriously. It's still hard to get family members to understand. There are so many stigmas still to this day and nobody is fully free to speak their mind, even though they say you are. Hi everyone, this is Guitar Freak. I'm a high functioning autistic person. It gets hard. Mental health is a serious thing. Um, you know, it makes you feel alienated and alone. But the thing is, is you just got to remember at this point, there's so many of us out there that have problems like that, that you're not alone. And you got to tell yourself, push forward as difficult as it is if you want to survive it. And you deserve to survive it. Keep the love, be the best person you can be, and just push forward. The doctors tell you that you're free to tell them anything. There's confidentiality there. <clears throat> but there's a fear that once you go past a certain line that they will label you something else and give you a different pill or a different concoction of 10 pills, 5 pills, 3 pills. And sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it makes things way worse. Um, I know when I speak to a doctor or a psychiatrist about my my problems, uh, I don't want to pass certain lines. Um, I'm very untrusting when it comes to that. And I know a lot of people are. But we have to be honest with ourselves, right? We've got to... We've got to recognize that those feelings and those characters and those personalities within us are trying to get out. And putting it into something else gives it life without cutting into you. It gives you that exertion of expression without having to sacrifice a piece of yourself. And I believe this is a tried and true way to help place that elsewhere. Uh, when I look at Philip now, uh, I see his floppy tongue and his sloppy innocence and I love him. Uh, and I learned to love that part of me through that. He's very imperfect. He's still learning. He breaks. He gets embarrassed. He sometimes gets upset, but he stays humble. He wants to be a person really bad. That's why he has a puppet on his hand because he knows that he's a Muppet. but he doesn't want to be. Horror has always been a big part of my life for that reason. You know, you get to live through these experiences that are weird, terrifying, and off-putting. And I find that it preps my mind for the world. Because I ain't never seen a horror movie like the world. This is 
guitar freak. Again? My character is actually real. I have a lot of mental issues with always looking over my shoulder from being a hacker and a bounty hunter and people searching for me. Um, we all have our own issues and you're not alone. The show, in a way, exists for everyone to create alter egos and let them out in fantasy so that you don't have to live them out in real life. If you feel a break coming, let it out a different way. Create something separate from yourself. Don't take all that on. Mickey is a part of me, as are all the other characters. Uh, I suffer from borderline personality disorder. I say suffer, but um, it's not all suffering. It's all um, interesting. <laughs> I've had very extreme emotions my whole life, and they change very quickly. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to see myself still inside. I have no idea what that would feel like to deal with uh, multiple personalities that won't stay within. And uh, my heart goes out to those people that deal with that. I wish that I could help you more, but this is all I have. <clears throat> and I don't have much. But if I can help others figure out what's going on with themselves, uh, or help someone express themselves, let that aggression out, let that confusion out, that innocence preserved. Um, you want, you want to keep yourself whole. So instead of breaking, grow. And I, I invite you to grow with me here. Let's all just have fun together. Let's laugh, let's scream. Let's make some weird shit. All the possibilities are open. And you know what? You're alive. You have today. And hopefully tomorrow. But if you don't, maybe you should leave something behind. Maybe. Uh, I do want to reiterate that everything on this show is not real. Uh, the characters are very fun for me to get lost in, but I don't truly get lost. And uh, I just want to tell you all that you're not alone. I know you hear that a lot. Uh, I feel alone a lot. <clears throat> and the fact is you're not. For your loved ones that are going through the same thing, I beg you to have compassion for them. It is... soul-eating. And just reaching out to that person that you know is having, a, having trouble, that can keep them going for a long time. Small acts of kindness, a little help here and there, makes a life a lot, a lot sweeter uh, for the person living it. I want to thank everyone who has helped me um, I mean, throughout my life, but even more recently uh, during my darker hour. <clears throat> it's been a slow but steady recovery and I've learned a lot about myself and the world and people. Uh, I don't feel as alone anymore and uh, I think we can do this you know I think we can get through all this and I think we can get better and better and better and stronger together so you message me, you call me, hit me up. I'm here, and I'm happy to help. I'm certainly not a doctor, nor nor would I want to be. Uh, this is not clinical advice. 
I just, I've been there and I'm still there. But we're all in different stages, you know? All in different stages. But no matter what stage you're in, we can help each other. That's how the world works. You're stronger together, not separate. We know that. We know that, but we still do it, don't we? We do focus on division every day. Sorting people, sorting things. Why? I can't we just let it all be. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. And lastly, I just want to say... The best advice I can give you is uh, ask somebody if you see signs, if they want to talk. And if they do want to talk, listen to them and be there for them. I always leave my phone on for any of my friends. They can call me at any time of the night. And it doesn't matter the circumstances. I'll be there for them because I've been there. And it's a pretty crappy place to be. Always ask them, do you want somebody to vent to or do you want answers? Uh, seems to help a lot. And mostly it's just venting and that's enough to save a life. Be there for people and be a good person because we all have our struggles and it's always difficult and it's not getting much better. We need a lot more love in this world. So be a good person and be there for people because we're all going through stuff. The best thing to know is you're not alone. We all have problems and feel alienated, but collectively, that makes us the majority. So be there for each other. Do the right thing. Good luck. And that I'm here. If you need to reach out, I always have an ear open. And we all reach really dark moments. But there's always a ladder. You just gotta build it. It is hard. It is really hard. But it is really important to reach out. Regardless of how you're feeling at the time, you need to reach out, you need to talk. Uh, regardless of who it is because I found personally that talking even if the people that you're talking to don't understand just talking about it absolutely helps and never give up never give up because I mean your life is worth it as hard as it can be to get through it it is definitely worth it in the end because you still have your life you still have you you are still worth it so um, stay strong reach out and uh, yeah keep it up hi everybody it's me your nightly voice of reason Kelly Kirby don't think that you're alone if you suffer with mental health issues Lots and lots of people suffer with mental health issues. I suffer with it myself. It doesn't make you abnormal. It doesn't, doesn't make you different. Sometimes you just need a little bit of help. But know that you're never alone. Mwah. Hey everybody, this is James, AKA Miss Hellfire. And I'm here to tell you that if you suffer from mental health illness, you're not alone. I too suffer from mental health illness. Never be afraid to ask for help or seek treatment or just call a friend when you're feeling low. We all go through it. We all need help at some point in our life. So just understand you're not alone. Hi. I hope you're doing okay. I want you to know that you are seen, you are heard, and you are validated in all of your feelings in all the parts of yourself that feel misplaced or misunderstood, you are not alone. There's a whole community of people out there ready to listen to you, to be there for you, to hold you 
or even just to shine a light on some of those darker moments. Don't shut out those who love you because you are loved. I hope that you know that it is okay to reach out and ask for help. I also hope that you know there are lots of other ways to get it out if need be. Write it down, set it on fire, draw it and share it with the world. Whatever suits you, never stop expressing yourself. Hey everyone, this is David Perry. Look, I'm here to tell you that if you're having any kind of struggles with mental health, just know that you're not alone and that you matter and that you're loved. Yes. You got this. And um, everything's going to be okay. You know, they say it's okay not to be okay. This doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. It's just, you know... It's just another hurdle that a lot of us have to, you know, get over. And you will get over. You're going to be okay. And so, just letting you know that you got this. And that I love you. Peace. This has been a broadcast of Turbo Cerberus TV.